So I've got a question today from Gooby Tim and he is saying, how do you motivate yourself every day to be productive? Maybe share some of your tricks. Welcome to the Till Boadella Show, where I show you how to create the freedom and lifestyle you truly desire. Tune in every day and get real life strategies to grow your own business, hack your life and get more done in less time. Subscribe to the show and add Till Boadella on Snapchat. Look, I wish I could somehow give you a trick or a secret method or strategy to create motivation. But reality is you can't just snap your fingers and be motivated or productive. Motivation and productivity is an ongoing process and it's all a build up. So in my early 20s, when I started my first online business and I decided this is what I want to do full time, I didn't have the productivity and I didn't have the motivation that I have today because it was all a build up. It's like a snowball. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it builds and builds, but it takes time. And in the beginning, that snowball is super small. It's just a little pebble maybe. A lot of people wait for the motivation to come before they execute and take action. And that is one of the number one reasons why many, many people fail at anything in life. At a diet, working out, getting in shape, business. All those things require that you do certain things that you don't like doing yet. It means maybe you're restricting your diet and that's something you don't want to do. You don't have the natural motivation to do that. So it means you have to do something that's outside of your comfort zone. Either you have to do work that you hate or you have to say no to something that you crave or want, right? Maybe you crave distractions. Maybe you crave uh, laziness. So that's something you want to do. So you have to force yourself to be productive in the beginning. You have to force yourself to take action even if you don't feel like doing it, even if you don't feel like you are motivated or you're driven. The way to get motivated is to fake it till you make it. You have to force yourself to do the work that you don't want to do so you can build positive momentum over time. So hard work comes first and motivation follows. It's not the other way around. No one starts with motivation. No one wakes up in the morning, you know, claps their hands and feels amazing in the beginning. We all have problems. We all have to struggle with financial issues at some point in our lives. We all have to struggle with certain mental and emotional issues. And in very rare cases, someone who's successful today started off with an incredible drive or motivation or happiness. That's something that built up over time. But what successful people do and learn to do, and what I had to learn to do, is to take action despite of how I'm feeling. To take action even when I felt crappy in the morning. To take action even when there was no reason to actually put in the work and execute. So the way you create lasting motivation is by forcing yourself to do the stuff you know you should be doing but you don't feel like doing. So you have to literally do work and do things you hate doing right now. Things you have no motivation for but you understand on a mental level that they're going to be good for you, like putting in the work to build a business or uh, dieting or going to the gym. You don't feel like doing it, aka you have no motivation, but you understand it's good for you. So you have to force yourself to do those things regardless of how you feel. That is really the secret. You have to learn to force yourself to use your willpower and do things that you don't want to do. And over time, the motivation will follow because what happens is when you start forcing yourself to do things that you don't want to do, but you know are good for you, what happens is you start to see small successes. You start to get some results, right? Even if it's small in the beginning, you might go to the gym and you might lose some weight. And then you now have a positive reference experience. Maybe you put in the work and although you don't feel like it, after a while, you make your first sale in your business. And it's this small, positive reference experience. Now you have proof that what you're doing 
is awesome, it's working, it's getting you results. And although it's just a little bit, it now drives you. It motivates you to take more action. So now you're entering this nice spiral of motivation. So now you have some results, you have, some, you have a small success, a small win, and that now motivates you to take more action, to put in more work. Maybe you feel a bit better about it. You don't have that much resistance. And guess what happens? After a while, you see some more success. You get some more results. Maybe you lose some more weight. You look better in the mirror. Maybe you make consistent sales or your second sale or you make your first $100 day. And now you have another small success. And that re-motivates you. It drives you again. So now, what are you going to do? You're going to put in more work because now you have more proof that what you're doing is working and it's making you feel great. So you put in more work, you focus more, you execute more, and there's less resistance. You feel more like doing it because it comes more naturally to you now. Because why? Because you have these positive reference experiences. So now you put in even more work. Maybe you work four hours a day, maybe eight hours a day. And guess what? More results will follow. You get better and better at, and better and you succeed more. You climb up the ladder. You make more money. You get in better shape. You feel better. You feel more proactive. You feel more productive. So now you take more action. So it's like this positive upward spiral. You build momentum and the motivation will follow naturally once you enter this spiral. Once you get some results, then you take more action, you get more results, you take more action, and it's this nice spiral. But, and here's the important part, if you're starting out, if you aren't in the spiral yet, the only way to get into the spiral is by forcing yourself to take action because you don't have those positive experiences yet. You have no successes. So you have nothing that can really motivate you. You have nothing that really drives you in that sense. So you have to create the belief that it's possible. You have to put in the work and just take a leap of faith and force yourself to execute and get those first results. And then you can enter that positive upward spiral of motivation and productivity. But in the beginning, you have to learn to do it regardless of how you feel, without motivation, without positive emotions, even if you feel depressed and burnt out and shitty, even if you're hopeless, even if you feel like it's not going to work out, you have to force yourself to do it anyway until you have those first small reference experiences and then a little bit of motivation will come. You take that motivation to work more, to focus more, to put in more hours and then more results follow. And before you know what's happening, you're in this fast upward spiral of momentum and it builds and builds and builds and builds. And the more success you get, the more motivated you are, the bigger your successes get, the more you can work. And it's all this nice, nice, nice upward spiral and it never ends. That's the secret to my productivity. There is no trick. There is no secret method, okay? It's simply this spiral here and I've done it for the last seven years or so so obviously my productivity is on point and I wake up every day motivated I, I don't need to motivate myself I wake up I look at my phone and I'm like yes let's go out there and work let's get some money let's build something right but if you don't have that right now don't worry you're just in this beginning phase and you have to fake it till you make it you have to force yourself to execute to enter this nice upward spiral and then things will follow naturally. Mm -hmm.